Okay, so I wanted to take a moment today to show you how to set up a um, how to set up an essay in Word, and because some, sometimes navigating Word can be a little tricky. So here we go. Um, I have copied some text, so we're just going to pretend that's not there. So we're going to start from a new document. And yours may look somewhat different if you have a PC. I am a Mac person, I have been for years, and we all hate change. So I'm just gonna post paste this in. And this would be like um, if you when you get your revised essay back from me, you take that text and you paste it into a new document. Um, so we're just gonna go here and we're gonna hit paste. So there, um, and this is something I had written before. So um, now we have some text to work with. So first what I want to do to make sure that this is an MLA format, I want to check my layout and go to margins. And my margins here are one inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. So that is correct. We want that to be the right margin. And then we have a header up here. So in the header, um, your header is 0.5 in, inches from the top, um, which is exactly where it wants to be. So you want to type your, your name, your last name, and then you want the page number to appear. And the way that you can put the page number here, if you go to uh, right here, it says page number, and hit page number. And it'll ask you which side you want it on. You want it on the right. You want to show the number on the first page and click OK. So now you see the name is over here, so what you have to do is you want to write justify your last name. And now if you look here, so this is a different font than this, and you want all of your font to match. So what you have to do, um, and you see these are actually two different pieces. So here I'm going to change this I think the rest of it's in Times New Roman. Um, we love Times New Roman. It's very readable. It's lovely. I have entirely too many fonts. So, Times New Roman. And then the number you see is actually still in Calibri, which is just, I f ugh, it's the worst font. I hate it. So you also want to change your number. And it's little details like this that really help create um, or craft a, a well a well put together essay one that looks like you care and you spent time getting the details of it right and I know this seems really fussy but if all of the details of the format are, is right it pushes the content to the forefront so that's what happens so now we've got the header set up we've got our last name and our page number and here we want a four line title block right so that's my name, and then you want the name of the class, 111, or 112, let's pretend I'm in section 42, for those of you who are Douglas Adams fans, you will think that's funny, and then this is for Professor, let's say it's for Professor Plum, because that's funny and it's another clue reference. Um, so then it's due, so let's say it's due next week. So 5 March 2017. So then I already have a title here, um, but you'll notice that the title is not centered. And the title needs to be centered, so we're just going to center that. Um, and then, so in MLA format, this all actually needs to be double spaced. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight everything. Go up here to spacing. We're going to pick 2.0. But let me just put a paragraph break in here. So um, you don't want this extra space here. So I'm going to delete that space. You don't want an extra space here either between the title and the body or the title and the introduction. So we're going to delete that space as well. Um, 
and right here you'll see there's not any extra space there's just the normal it's it's the same spacing as the entire paragraph before it sometimes you'll end up with something that looks a little funky and the way to find that if you go to line spacing options here mine says before text zero after text zero um, so sometimes and right here spacing sometimes it'll look like um, well, let's let me highlight this so that I actually apply it so that you can see what I'm talking about so sometimes it'll look like this and there's like a little bit of an extra space here um, and that's because that is usually set to six or auto or something peculiar. Um, a lot of times Word will default to having some kind of setting in here, um, including auto, which is a choice. And see, when you put auto, the space gets even bigger. But you don't want that space. You want them to be consistently double spaced throughout the body of the document. So what you do is you make sure that that's a zero point and this line spacing is double. So that's good. So what we're going to do is go down here and um, so let's pretend that this is the end of my paper um, and I've actually got a couple things here I need to cite so I'm going to show you entirely how to set up the works cited page. So your works cited page should occur on a new page when you're doing it in Word. Um, here I'm going to take a moment, however, and I'm going to save this document because you should save early and you should save often. So I'm just going to wait for the spinning wheel of death to stop spinning. All right, so we're going to put this on the desktop and we're going to call this SA1 revision. And here's a handy trick. Name your uh, papers that you're turning into professors with your last name because they really like that and makes it very easy for them to find things. So now we have saved this. And so here I want to create my works cited page, but you, you don't want to just hit return or enter until you get to a new page. There is a wonderful tool called insert and you go to break. And right here it's called page break. So what this means is if I were to go back and add like several more sentences here, it's going to leave this page break in the same place. So um, my margins are still one inch. Um, so I'm going to type here in time, Times New Roman works cited. It's never bibliography, it's always works cited in MLA format, and then that needs to be centered, and you'll see that your page numbers are automatically carrying over here. So that's when you use that insert page number tool, that's what that does for you, it automatically numbers. You can do it by hand, but <clears throat> again, if you were to go back and add any content, your page numbers get off. So, go back to Left Justified, and I'm gonna go ahead and type these in, and then I'll come back and show you how to do this. So in this piece that I had written before, I referenced this film. Film titles get italicized. And then this was Lionsgate was the uh, production company that released the movie and I put a comma there and it was released in 2012 period so that's really it for that citation um, because in this instance I'm drawing attention to the fact that the director was Drew Goddard there's another way to do a film and I'll do that one in just a moment um, and actually it would go above this one so because your work cited is in alphabetical order. So this film is The Evil Dead, which I also reference in the text beforehand. So this, and, and the, so the title 
if, and you can find the MLA format for this on the Purdue OWL, which I've posted links to. Um, so your title gets a period after it, and then it was directed by Sam Raimi. Oh, and look, I've messed up here because this should not be italicized, should it? So take the italics out. Performances by the wonderful man with the chin, Bruce Campbell, and Ellen Sandweiss, and Richard D. Manicor. I've never seen any of these people do anything after this film, by the way. And then it's Renaissance Films. And it was released in 1981. So I messed up, you know, this is a uh, misspelled. So do a little spell check there. Um, these are actually correct, even though spell check is, it gets crazy with names and whatnot. So you see how this is like indented. Um, we'll go through and I'll show you how and why in just a moment. Let me add one more. So I also reference Linda Hutchin. This is a book. The title of it is The Politics of Postmodernism. An inquiry. Um, it was Routledge, nineteen ninety-seven. So you see that I am. You get a period after the author. You get a period after the title of the book, but the rest of these get commas until you get to the very end. And one of the videos that I posted a couple weeks ago about MLA format points that out. It's a really great video. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and add some words in here to push this into a second line. So let's just add some words and pretend that this is a longer title than it really is. Helps if I could actually type. So, and you see the, the spacing here is still all wackadoodle. So what you want to do up here, I have the ruler. If you don't see the ruler in your normal view, if you just go up here to view ruler and that will turn it on and off. So you should be looking at the ruler. This is the easiest way to do this. And this is called a hanging indention. So highlight your text here. And what it's doing right now, it's abiding by where these little triangles are. So if I take this tri triangle and drag it back to the one inch margin, then everything gets lined up against this edge. So if I take this bottom triangle and drag it half an inch this way, it will then take the second line. Um, not, and you know, I didn't hit enter here. This is just the text wrapping naturally. So that if you have them set up like this, that will give you this hanging indention, which is what you really want in your works cited page. Um, I have seen people like try to do this with the enter key and the tab key, and that is craziness. Don't do that. This is so much the easier way to do this. The hanging indention is your friend. That way, like say I go in here and I need to add another entry. So you see, it doesn't mess up my spacing or anything. It maintains this because it's conforming to this margin here. It's not being all super crazy um, because I had hit tab a bunch of times to get things on the next line. Um, this is also a good tip for when you're doing your resumes. Uh, use the hanging indention. It's, it's everybody's friend. It makes your life a lot easier. So that is how you produce a works cited page. Um, Evil Dead, um, actually the title of it is not even The Evil Dead, it's just Evil Dead. It is, uh, begins with an E because I'm actually looking at the whole film here, not emphasizing the director. So E comes before 
g and h so these are let's do it with that these are in alphabetical order that is the way that yours should be make sure that you're using the proper mla format <clears throat> um, make sure that you have your format written down and ready to go before you start taking your in-class essays because you can't copy and paste from another source or visit a website to look it up. You will need it beforehand. And I hope that this has been helpful about how to set up your essay in Word. Um, so yeah, here we have a, you know, your new paragraph has a, an indention here. The indention should be 0.5 inches. You see here, it's like halfway between zero and one. And this shows the, the inch where it's, it has a margin. Um, and again, your title here, it's not bold and it's not underlined or anything. Um, titles of films are put in italics. Um, here I have, <clears throat> um, I say Peter Travers claims that Whedon and Goddard have taken an axe to slasher cinema in the cabin in the woods and chopped it up for kindling. So I did not cite this source. Um, in the paper or in the work cited that I just put together because I just didn't look it up. But um, if I were to cite that, like, so let's say that were page uh, six of, I th this was in Rolling Stone, so let's just say it was page six. So this is how you do a citation. It's the quote itself, close quotation marks, and then your parenthetical citation, then your period. So that's how that should go. Um, let's remember to save, save early, save often. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, titles of articles go in quotation marks, titles of films, books, um, albums, those all go in italics. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will help you when you are putting together your essay one revision as far as how to set it up in MLA format. Thanks so much, and I hope this helped. How do I stop you?